Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is average filtering in a digital image processing with the help of simple solid example by doing zero padding and pixel replication. Here we filter the following image using 3 cross 3 neighborhood averaging by assuming zero padding and pixel replication. First, we will consider the zero padding. In zero padding, the image is padded with zero along the edges. It can be shown here. This is a given input image. For this, we will pad the zeros along the edges. You can see here along the edges, we are padded the zeros. Once you pad the zeros along the edges, the next step is to determine the average value. The procedure to determine the average value of the first pixel using the 3 cross 3 neighborhood matrix is we need to consider the 3 cross 3 neighborhood matrix for the pixel 1. The average value of the pixel 1 in 3 cross 3 neighborhood is given as adding all the 9 values and divided by 9 because in 3 cross 3 matrix we are getting 9 values. Here 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2. It will become 9. Then this 9 will divided by 9. Then we will get 1. It means that the average value for the pixel 1 will become 1. Similarly for the Pixel 2, we can see here for the pixel 2, we will consider the neighborhood matrix that is 3 cross 3 neighborhood matrix. This one, the next we need to add all these 9 values and divided by 9, so it will become 1.89. But the average value must be in an integer form, so 1.89, which is nearly equal to. So, the average value for the pixel 2 will become 2. Similarly, for the next pixel that is 3, for this 3 we will consider the 3 cross 3 neighbor matrix as this one. To determine the average value, we need to add all these 9 values and divide it by 9. We will get 1.67 which is nearly equal to 2. And for this two, we will consider three cross three neighbor matrix as this one. Then we need to add these nine values and divided by nine, we will get one. Similarly, for the pixel four, we will consider this matrix and uh, we will get average value as one. And for two, we will consider this matrix and the average value will become three. And for this five, we will consider this matrix and the average value will become 3. And for this one, we will consider this matrix and the average value will become 2. Similarly, we will calculate the average value for the remaining values. Here for the pixel 1, the average value will become 1. And for the pixel 2, average value will become 2. And for the pixel 3, average value will become 2. And for the pixel 2, average value will become 1. Similarly, we will found the remaining average values for the all the pixels. And once you replace pixel values by remaining values, we will get this image. Next, we will find the average filter using pixel replication. In pixel replication, the image is padded with boundary values along the edges. This is an input image. While doing the pixel replication, we will pad the boundary values. Here we can see that this is the same as first row. And here we will write the first column values. And here we will write the last row values. Here we will write the last column values and for the edges, here it is 1, here it is 1, this will become 1, this is 2, this is 2, this will become 2, this is 2, this is 2 and this will become 2 and this is 7, this is 7, 
this will become 7. Once we padded the boundary values, the next step is to determine the average values. Determination of a average value using 3 cross 3 mass for the pixel value 1 is given as like this. Here we consider the 3 cross 3 matrix for the pixel 1. Here what we will do, we will add all these 9 values and we will divide by 9 because in the 3 cross 3 neighborhood matrix we will get 9 values. So here 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2. It will become 18 and this will divide it by 9 it will get, become 2. It means that the average value for the first pixel that is for the 1 it will become 2. And similarly for the next pixel that is for the 2 we will consider this 3 cross 3 mask and we will add these all 9 values and will divide it by 9. So we will get 23 divided by 9 which is equal to 2.55. We already know that the average value must be in the integer form. So this will become 3. And for the next value that is for the pixel 3 we will consider this 3 cross 3 mask and we will add all these 9 values and divided by 9 it will get 2. And for these 2 we will consider this matrix and we will add all these values and it will be divided by 9 then we will get average value as a 2. And for this 4 we will consider this matrix and uh, we will add all the values and divide it by 9 we will get 2 and for this 2 we will consider this matrix then we will get average value as 3 and for this y we will consider this matrix and we will add all these values and divide it by 9 we will get 3 and for this one we will consider this matrix and we will add all the 9 values and divide it by 9 we will get 3 as the average value for this one and similarly we will find the remaining average value for the remaining pixels once you find the all the average values the next step is just to replace the original value with the average value for the first pixel we will got the average value as 2 and for the 2 we will get the average value as 3 and for the 3 we got the average value as 2 and for the 2 we got the average value as 2 and similarly we will replace all the pixel values by average values. This is how we can calculate the average filter using the pixel replication and zero padding. I hope the concept of average filter is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.